Pete, the Transit Village program has attracted a lot of attention. Um, what makes it work in your view? Sure. The Transit Village program is a really important program for a transportation department to run. And it's because it recognizes that transportation is more than just moving cars around, that it has to do with land use and planning and redevelopment. Um, and what the Transit Village program does is it focuses funding on towns that have transit stations and then helps them plan to create more compact, walkable, mixed use, mixed income places. Um, which allows people to get out of their cars. It encourages walking, encourages biking. It lets people use transit more, more availably and more accessibly. In New Jersey, how many municipalities do we have that are trying to develop or in various stages of a transit village? Well, we have over 150 municipalities in New Jersey that have transit stations. Uh, and of those 150, there's over 240 stations. Uh, of that 150 um, number of towns, they're all in different places when it comes to how are they using those town, those, uh, those transit stations as assets. Um, some are being very aggressive, especially the ones that are in the Transit Village program. Um, they're changing their zoning. They're looking at how they can eliminate surface parking lots, how they can bring housing and jobs back into the areas around their transit stations. Others are not. <laughs> They're smaller communities. They like their communities the way they are. They don't recognize that, um, and they haven't been forced to recognize that these are public assets um, and that they should be developing the area around those assets. So in the years BC, and that's before COVID in this case, there was a lot of talk and excitement about communities that were building, say, apartment complexes right near a train station. And there was this idea, as you mentioned, of sort of a compact, more usable um, or, or thoughtful use of, of the land. Has COVID disrupted that at all? Or do you think the momentum is still there? I think in general, the momentum is still there. I think it certainly pushed the pause button. Uh, you know, everybody was a little bit more nervous about being together. Uh, and uh, it did make people think a little bit differently about, um, we really did have a lot of momentum going towards our towns and our cities. So I think it did push the pause button, but I think we're going to see that pick right back up again. What do we know about the economic impacts from transit villages? It increases property values uh, considerably. We know that it brings in jobs. Um, the idea of density and the idea of having more people and more jobs in one place has a multiplier effect. I think, so we know there's an economic benefit to it. I think with that economic benefit though, we also have to be careful um, because some of the communities that we're talking about with transit stations have lower income populations. And we wanna be very careful that as we look to increase investment in those areas, that we're not looking at displacing existing communities, um, you know, especially um, black and brown communities, um, lower income communities. Hey, great points, and it was a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you oh, so thanks much. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. For more clips and episodes of NJ Business Beat, subscribe to the NJ Spotlight News YouTube channel.